Hey y'all, it's Johnny. Look at this Mamba Jamba. Professional series Wi-Fi endoscope. Which is like a borescope. They also call them borescopes. Wi-Fi HD. For iPhone, iPad, Android devices, and PC. We are going to try it on the Galaxy Android. So we'll see how that works. I've tried one that wasn't Wi-Fi and I had to be hooked up directly uh, to the PC whenever I did it. So we're going to get this one out. Um, uses for checking out anything from plumbing to hidden spots, areas that you can't get your head or your eyes into. This will slip into a small spot and really give you a good idea. And you can while you're looking at your screen, you can direct it around to really get a good view of what you're trying to check out. There's the specs. You might want to pause it because I'm not going to stay on this very long. There you go. There's you a good shot. Q code symbols. But, I want to make it clear it's not made for medical use. So... We'll get this out and check it out. All right, I got it all out. I'm continuing to get more impressed here because he's got a neoprene pouch, belt pouch. Has a strap on it and all that comes with this. Got room for whatever else. Here's the, the handle of the gun. And then you got the clip that holds onto your phone. This snaps on the front of. I should probably look at instructions to make sure I'm not going to mess anything up. But clips on the front of the phone. This adjusts out to grab whatever size width of a camera you have. Sit sideways so you can watch the screen. It does clip right in there. I know that for a fact. I just want to make sure I'm not going to mess anything up. This looks like a power button, and we'll get into what this is, because I don't know. This also. Light, looks like. Here's where your scope hooks up to. Um, the program disc, application CD, attachments, manual. Attachments has a three different attachments, I believe. You have a hook, so if there's something down in there that you can't see, you can see it with the camera and you can direct the hook in there off the front of the camera to hook it and bring it back. Um, you have the mirror, which whenever you get this mirror, this looks all foggy, it's because there's a protective film on that. You just have to get your nail in there and pull it off. A little protective glass deal. So it's a real good mirror. I mean, it works great. There you can see. Good mirror. If you're looking around edges and stuff, looking up pipes, if you're going in a pipe and wanting to see up a T or something, and here's your other attachment. All these fit on the end of your scope. This is a magnet, so if you have something metal you drop down there, you can reach down there and touch this to it and pick it up with that magnet. And it's got a decent amount of pull to it. It can pick up, it can pick up some, some things, so that's a pretty handy attachment. We'll get this powered up. Oh yeah, here's your scope. I'll show you that. Here's where it hooks up to your unit. And here is the scope itself. See that clearly? has the lights around the edges inside there. Those are lights. And then your your uh, lens is actually in the middle. But it has a glass front, protective front on it. Let's get this hooked up. All right. I'm going to be doing it on the, uh, the Android phone, like I said. And I can't... This is what I'm recording with now. So I can't... I'll get some still shots and add it to the end of the review. But... There's different sections in here, and if you're using an iPad or an iPhone or a PC user, 
but it's real simple instructions. Like I'm going to do the Android has this app, the Wi-Fi Endoscope and Google Play Store. Install that app. Whenever that's installed in your phone, then go into the settings, Wi-Fi settings, turn on your uh, your Wi-Fi, and search for the SSID Wi-Fi Endoscope. Just like you would search for any other uh, Wi-Fi, what have you, like your Bluetooth thing, what have you. But I'm going to run this through a check and see if it all connects together okay. But these the instructions are clear as long as you follow them for the correct device. Well, we had fun with that. Um, I did. Let's go over this real quick. This adjusts the brightness of the camera LEDs that's shining out in front of it. So it dims it down, it brightens it up. This is the power that turns the camera and everything on. This trigger turns on the flashlight, little LED flashlight in the front. Four AA batteries goes right in here. But I'll have footage at the end of this review showing a couple of. I went down a couple of drains and stuff, and just to give you an idea of the camera quality. But um, I even took the camera and steered it around right back at this, so you can see the camera or the phone on top of it. So, <laughs> but you'll see it. I really like this. This is a. It's nice once you figure out how to Wi-Fi connect it on here by following the instructions. And then uh, you download that app and you see it in the app and it's on your screen. It's real neat. So you'll have to check it out. This is a good one.